Hopefully. All right, so we have completely broken down our pump. You can see we got a bunch of components here on the table. Uh, I'm gonna go through putting back together the top end, including the lower piston. Uh, to see the very lower pump getting put back together, please see our other video that we did on that. So the first things first, we gotta put our lower piston back here through the body. We're gonna pop that through. There we go. All right. And then we have the spring assembly, which is gonna slide into there. And we have our disc slide over that. And you can take the uh, 24 mil wrench and your 13 mil wrench and tighten this all back together after we get a hand started. So we're putting this back on the wrench point there on the bottom. You want to make sure this is real snug. You do not want that coming apart. Just don't break it. <laughs> All right, next thing, we cleaned out this cup. Uh, there's still a good amount of grease left on our ring. Um, if you need to, you know, re-grease the inner side of that. So we're gonna slide that around. Our lower gasket is in place. We're gonna set that right on top of that. And keep this cup right about in the middle. Let's move this up a little bit. This will help the next step. We're going to bring our top end and feed that back through. So you see, we're going to push that spring assembly all the way through. And you're also looking to see here on the back end that you're falling into place here. There are Allen screws with this, but I've never had issues just pushing these into place. Um, again, there was a gasket on the top end here. We made sure that was in place. Now you have this. It's going to give a little wiggle and visually get just about even. Not a huge science to it, but when you do tighten these bolts down, you want to try and keep this as even as possible. To prevent that lower or inner assembly getting out of line. So I'm going to bring these all down until they're touching, not actually tighten anything. And then we'll screw them evenly all together. That was a, uh, a five mil Allen wrench in the back, four mil in the front. All right, so now that we're touching, easiest is to just rotate these together. So about half a turn on that one. Do half turn on this one. Those are about tight, so we'll go a quarter. No, not quite. So they're pretty tight. This one's more loose now. Let's just look at this to see where we ended up. So again, I'm looking at the front here. It's looking pretty even.
side sitting a little high, so I'm gonna loosen this. Tighten the side down a little bit. That's better. All right. Uh, if you saw the video before this, you saw that was dirty. We cleaned that. Our carrier coupling was also pretty dirty. Our cameraman, Rich, helped us out with that one. <laughs> so we are good to move on to the inner here. I'm just going to wipe out that chamber down there. Clean that up a bit. If you have a Q-tip, which we are out of, this is a little bit easier. I'm just trying to get any kind of debris or grease that's built up in that out of it. That yeah, looks pretty good. All right. So we're gonna take our carrier coupling and our control piston and we're gonna put these in that position there. You're gonna slide that on down until the control piston catches. Then you can try to grab. Oh, shoot. Too much, too much. Let's try that again. Basically trying to grab this lower spring assembly to screw our top nut here into place. So we had a wrench here that we had specially built, ground down to fit in this tight chamber. Um, you know, again, you can probably contact Weewaw to get a special tool they have for you. Or take the more fun route. Your choice. <laughs> All right, so that's tight. We're gonna now push this all the way down. Actually, pull the lower piston down to help us out with that. Pulling it down there, and we're gonna put in the side rocker type assembly in in place here. This is already put together. It's in the groove, sitting well. I'll show you. This is actually multiple pieces. There's a spring in there. You have your cap with the groove, and a little rocker arm sits in there. You want these to be clean and well greased. All right, so swing around front here. Let's show them right straight in. You want that to be in the groove there. You don't want it to be sideways or out of place. You want it to be right in groove there. And then if you can look on the side, there is an etching. That etching is gonna line up. This etching here is gonna line up with the blue casing. So I'm gonna push this in with my hand and then come around to the front and we're gonna lock that in place. And you'll know if you're not in the right spot because there's also a large groove, I'll show you on the other one, that your set pin is getting pressed into. So if you're off, that's not gonna go all the way in as you see here. So we'll repeat that on this side. And push that in. Screw that into place, tighten your set screws, and then you're gonna tighten your nuts. Lock them in there. Alright. Next piece, we're almost there. We have our damping plate for the front. If that's really starting to get buggered up, you should probably replace that. It's venting all the air. Going through the pump, you got a bunch of media on there. I want it to be breathing pretty good. So 
Just gotta get this all set in place here. There we go. Now you just have your four top screws. Back to the five mil Allen. Those tighten down. Today's video brought to you by Clear Blast, <laughs> making wet abrasive blasting simple. <laughs> all right, so we're all locked down, cross pattern, and we are completely assembled on the top end here. I'm gonna make sure this is clear on the bottom, and we're gonna test it real quick. <clears throat> so I just have a quarter by six fitting. Um, depending on which pump you have, you may have the oiler assembly for your 150 with a T on it. You can still do this, um, just you know, put your finger over the one side of the T. Or if you have a 90 laying around, you can swap it out real quick. We have just a compressor here for our shop. And we've taken the rubber tip out of the end, which is an eighth inch thread, and we put a fitting in there. Uh, so it's an eighth by six fitting. And we're gonna put air to it. I'm just gonna come around the front just to make sure everything's operating as it should. You wanna see that it runs with low air and then increase it. It'll run pretty smooth, pretty quick. But your best indication is if you can run at a really low slow rate, uh, rate of speed, because that's assuring you're not getting held up um, you know, anywhere along those lines. So. That's looking good. All right, so for the rest of that assembly, again, please see our lower end um, seal kit video, and that will show you how to reassemble anything on that end. Um, again, we're here with Clear Blast Power System. We lost six to one. Hopefully that's helped you guys out, and uh, we'll see you next time.